Hello, and welcome to the Movie Dungeon, where we take a look at the underbelly of the movie world. was out enjoying The Last Airbender, <laughs> I went and saw The Human Centipede. There we go! Yeah! It's a spooky, crazy movie about a crazy surgeon who kidnaps people and sews them ass to mouth to form The Human Centipede. Sorry to say that that's all this movie has going for it. I'm sorry, but you can't just have, you know, random stuff happen to your characters and expect that to sell your movie. It's ridiculous. It's, that's all there is. It, it's a human centipede. Oh, God, it's so gross and scary to look at. Ugh. It starts off uh, with these two girls who are in Germany, and they follow every horror cliche in the book. Their car breaks down, they get heckled by some German guy, and they can't understand, not knowing to them uh, he's heckling them for sex. It was a pretty, that was a pretty funny part. And then, you know, they make their way to the doctor's house. And Dr. Heiter, oh god, he's like a German Christopher Walken, and it's awesome. He's just so crazy. He's This guy was born for this role, obviously. I'm a sick man. <laughs> if you don't know about me immediately, I will... Cut your knees and pull your teeth out one by one without any anesthesia. Open the door. There's this one scene where Dr. Heiter is trying to train the centipedes, fetch his paper and obey commands and everything, and you know, Katsuro naturally is trying to refuse and fight him, and then all of a sudden he has to take a shit. He can't hold it in anymore. And so he starts, you know, spewing it out, and, and the girl behind him, and Dr. Heider's really getting a kick out of it. He's all excited and gleeful. He's just like, yeah! Feed her! Feed her! Feed her! Yes! 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 Her! Swallow it, bitch! Swallow it, bitch! How many times have I told a girl to do that? Feed her! Feed her! How many people have told me to do that? And while I'm on that topic, Katsuro, he's the most interesting character in the entire movie, but you didn't, you go, you don't get to hear anything about him. You kind of wonder, like, well, how does he end up in Germany? That should have been part of the movie. But it's not. All it is is just, oh, look at this gross thing that we did. Oh, wow. Wow. You know, I've seen worse things on the internet. You know, maybe if I was five or, t you know, six, this would work. But, you know, I'm a lot older now. I need a little more to my movie than that. That's why Saw worked, because they had character development in it. You had the connection of the victims, and who's killing who, and what, where is this going to end up? Hostel, the people were the enemy. The people were the killers. You're the average guy that you see going at your grocery store, he's a clerk at day, and then when he goes on vacation, he goes to the hostel and murders people. That's what that had going for it. This is just, let's look at what crazy thing we can come up with. And they're planning on a sequel to this. It's been said that they're gonna have 12 people lined up. I don't have any interest in that. So overall, I'd say it's worth at least just one viewing if you're curious or drunk or high or a combination of the three. So with that, this is Andy saying goodbye from the movie Dungeon. Bonus! So there's this other movie coming out called Chain Letter. Let's take a look at that trailer. You've got mail. Chain letter. Junk mail. We all get them. We all got these chain letters. Who gets these chain letters? No one ever gets these chain letters. I never heard anyone getting a chain letter on their cell phone or email. What? How come I don't get a chain letter? It's because... It's because... It's because I, I, I'm not liked and I'm not popular? Is that it? <laughs> Break the chain, lose a life? Was deadly. There's a person behind this, and I think I know what he's doing. There's a virus that I found in my phone. 
We all have it. Oh wow, so this guy sends out chain letters and whenever people don't pass them on, he kidnaps them and kills them. But why is he sending out chain letters? Why is he pick these particular teenagers? Why? Why should I care? What's the connection between everything? Do they honestly think I want to go see a movie for the sake of teenagers getting kidnapped and chained together? It's just the same kind of movie as a human centipede. It's ridiculous. You gotta have more than that. You gotta have some kind of character development for it. Whatever, better, you know, better luck next time. I'm skipping that one for sure. Take care. Goodbye. <laughs>